All right, it looks like we are once again live. Welcome everybody to another episode of Yankees Merca Guns and Freedom podcast. Uh, if you've never been here before, this is just conversation between me and my viewers and my camera's in the wrong spot here. Hold on, give me a second. Uh, it's just a place you can come every day for about an hour and have conversations with like-minded individuals about common interests. Uh, you don't have to talk to me if you don't want to. You can talk amongst yourselves over in the live chat. But if you do want to talk to me, that's what I'm here for. So you can ask me questions, you can suggest topics, so you can call me out if you think I've been wrong about something or you just disagree with one of my opinions. You can come in and express your own. Uh, you can even come here in the live chat, the live feed and do it if you want. All you got to do is have <clears throat> a microphone. Uh, excuse me, I'm going to be calling. Well, that didn't take long today for us to have a blank spot there, did it? <coughs> but I uh, apologize for the coughing and stuff. But uh, where was I at? I was, oh, you can ask questions. All you got to do is have a microphone if you want to come in here and set me straight on something, so to speak. Uh, you don't want to have a camera. Hold on, I'm pouring my soda. I'll be. And as usual. I should get a sponsorship from them. Uh, 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 <coughs> not feeling great today. I don't feel any really any better, but I don't feel any worse either. So I guess that's good. My voice is coming back some. So that, that's good, I guess. Uh, <coughs> but as I was saying, uh, if you've got a question or a comment for me, just put it there in the live chat. Just make sure you put at the Yankee Marshall at the beginning of it uh, so that I have a chance of seeing it. Uh, did we do the drawing? We did do the drawing last night for a hat, didn't we? So we'll do another one tonight. We'll do a drawing for a hat tonight, too. Uh, anybody who wants to be entered in the drawing for the hat, uh, if you do a super chat, you'll be entered. Uh, one entry for a $2 chat, three entries for a five, seven for a 10, 15 for a 20. Uh, 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 the uh, super chats go to support pets and vets. I'm all over the place here tonight. Uh, super chats go. I don't got a script. I need a fucking script, people. That's what I need. Uh, I need a teleprompter. I need to be like, uh, <clears throat> what's his name? Uh, Biden. What's his name? Uh, I couldn't remember Biden's name for a second there. Uh, so I could read these so I don't get all over the place. But, uh, like I was saying, uh, uh if you want to do a super chat, uh, they get you entries into the hat drawing tonight at the end of the chat. You can choose if you if you're chosen, you get to choose whether you want a hat, a uh, mug, uh, a, a small flag, or a t-shirt. Uh, and super chats go to fund the pets and vets program also and the friend drawing, which we will be doing tonight. We will be doing the friend drawing tonight. I've got everything ready. Uh, uh, Oh, <clears throat> so we'll do that later. Uh, I'm trying to do two things at once here, trying to read and talk and trying to not cough. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> don't forget the silver bullet drawing in the can's ammo. I ain't forgot. <clears throat> I've got the list up right here for where did I, I had it here somewhere. I know I had it somewhere here. Oh, I just had it a minute ago. I know it's on here. I just don't know where I, where I closed it to. Uh, oh, there it is. All right. See, I got it ready to go. We just got to get it. Uh, do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. This has just been a mistake from beginning to uh, from beginning to end here. I just ain't got nothing right since we started. I just woke up, by the way. Uh, literally seven minutes before this chat started, my alarm went off and I got up. I, we got back from Best Buy and I went and took a nap. Uh, I was miserable all the way down to Best Buy. Uh, because I wasn't feeling good, I was real sensitive to the motion of the car. 
and we were in the electric car and that has not only are you sensitive to the motion side to side but it's got that little bit of a stop and go feel to it like like a, a golf cart that was making me so sick that we got back and survived so uh <clears throat> so i'm happy for that but uh like i was saying uh you know, everybody knows about the Super Chats and funding the Pets and Vets program. Uh, get entries into the hat drawing. Get entries into the friend drawing. We're doing the friend tonight. We're doing the blah, blah, blah. The other program we run is TYM Triple P. Uh, if you want to support that, go buy merchandise or become a subscribe star member. <clears throat> That's about as much as I'm doing. It's just, I ain't feeling it tonight, people. Uh, I got a thing from Lock Grip saying that my order shipped, and I didn't order anything from Lock Grip, so they must have sent me something. I don't know what it is. Uh, Smith and Wesson J Frame Palm Swell Velochi Grips in OD Green uh, and Two Finger Carry Velochis. What are I'm, I'm going to look over and let's look what those are. Just, just sometimes they send me a little surprise because I've supported their. <coughs> Uh, let's see, can I share the, let me share the, uh, lock grips. Oh, those look kind of nice. They sent it to me in OD green. Those aren't OD green. Those, I bet that's the, OD, no, that's gray. There's OD green. Ooh, those are pretty nice. And then they sent me a pair of the. Two finger ones. Aha, two finger. Oh, I like the looks of those better, actually, I think. Those look very nice. Maybe we'll give these away as a a, a giveaway because those are nice. <coughs> yeah, I like those ones a lot. Um, all right, let me get over here to the chat. Oh, did we get anybody sell? Did we buy? Uh, I, I don't know. Did we lose any patrons today? I, last time I looked on, oop, that's not what I want to show. What was all that shit in front of it? What the fuck was that? I don't even know what that is. <coughs> but uh, where am I at? Where am I at? Uh, I got a super chat coming in. Let me get that answered real quick before I go completely off rails tonight. Uh, Argo Con seven 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 said, "Yankee, what's the highest round count you have on a revolver? How many rounds do you shoot before a new revolver is okay to carry?" <laughs> All right. The first question. I don't know if I'll be able to answer it accurately because I don't really keep a round count with a gun. Uh, but if you see that Smith and Wesson, uh, uh, 686 right there with the bone grips on it, I have fired boxes and boxes and boxes of ammo through that. Uh, that goes with me almost every time I go to the range, <laughs> unless I'm just taking something out to test a single, a specific item. That goes with me, so that's probably the one. And if I had to guesstimate, I've had that thing for how many years have I had it? Probably 15 years, and let's say on average shooting it uh, 50 rounds a week. So that's 600 rounds. So that that it that ain't been that many, but I guarantee you I've got a couple thousand rounds through it at least. <laughs> <laughs> but as far as how many rounds do I got to put through a revolver before I think it's safe to carry? Uh, it doesn't have much to do with, do I think it's reliable because you know, a good quality revolver is reliable. And as long as you take it out and you fire enough rounds through it to know there's no mechanical defects, you're set to go. If that's 12 rounds or 50 or whatever you prefer, that's, that's fine. Uh, the whole break-in period thing for guns isn't really a thing anymore. Uh, uh, so that's not really a thing, especially not with revolvers. But the thing with me is I got to take it down. I got to be able to shoot it well. 
you know, like, and, and they're all a little, a tiny, tiny bit different, but there's not really much difference. So if you know how to shoot a revolver, you can usually shoot a revolver well, but if it's got different types of sights, if it's got different, you know, length of a barrel, all this other stuff, it's more getting used to the sights than anything else. If I guess if I had to put it a certain, any certain terms, it's getting used to different sight radiuses and different types of sights, etc. Once you do that, you're good to go. Uh, Pocket Sand, haven't seen him in a while, said, bought a 90 Dodge B250 conversion van. Oh, I want to be, I want a, a van. Decided to do a full refresh on all fluids, filters, and wear parts. Got to say, I have learned working on vans suck. <clears throat> I remember we used to work on my uncle's van, and I actually thought it was always cool because we could do it from inside the van. Because it was one of those ones where the thing compartment came off the front of it and you could look right into the engine right there from you were basically sitting on and next to the engine and transmission the whole time. So that was always kind of cool, I thought. Uh, <coughs> I want me a, a 18 van to go with my to go with the uh, uh, in many 14 I've had for many, many years. Boy, is anybody still watching this train wreck? I don't know where I'm at, what I've said, what I'm doing. <coughs> I probably shouldn't take a three hour nap right before I get on a chat because I, I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, I never did read if we got any sales today. Uh, let's see. I think we got two. Uh, we got, wait, that was from last night. Toby person that was from last night. Uh, Art Dunham was that from Latin last night? ATF. Uh, what's today's date? It says it was placed April 6th. So I guess that's from today. But Toby uh, Art Dunham. Uh, yeah, to that one's new because I would have remembered Art's name if I'd read it last night. He got him an ATF hat. Uh, but other than that, I think all these are. Uh, uh, yeah, that one from Toby Person was uh, placed yesterday. So the only one we've had today is from Art Dunham. Uh, the Ray Gados, that was from yesterday. He got a thin blue line shirt. So <coughs> those actually say they're from today, but those were from yesterday. So we've only got one sale today. But uh, Clinton Seattle says P and V check if I finally got my PayPal to work. Well, I hope it's working. Uh, I don't know how that tells you. Can you do super chats with PayPal? Is that how she's telling their PayPal's working? What were we doing? Oh, yeah, we were looking up them grips and then we were starting to chat, but I haven't really got started yet, have I? Because, uh, very distracted, very out of focus right now. I'm, like I said, first, I'm sick. And two, I just got up from a three-hour nap seven minutes before I came in here and started this. Uh, so I'm doing stuff I should have been doing before I came, before I got on the chat, while we're doing the chat here. And it's distracting me. Uh, Kevin Mabry said, pets and vets. <clears throat> oh, I was going to go mail your gun today, but they were too busy to deal. Uh, there were people standing outside, and I'm like, I ain't standing outside in the rain, ready to go in, but uh, <clears throat> so I'm about to go back Tuesday, maybe the middle of the day. Um, well, it's because they only have so many people, salespeople, and they only let enough people in that they can deal with at one time. So it's sometimes you gotta wait in line outside to get in. I don't, I don't want to do that. <clears throat> Don't they know who I think I am? Um, all right, where am I? I'm going to go over here and we're going to pretend like this is just starting, basically, except I've already done the spiel. And I'm going to start reading uh, uh, comments. And we're going to pretend that whole first 15 minutes or whatever of this chat hasn't happened. <laughs> I sent you a few emails. Enjoy. I saw the one, I saw the one you sent about uh, that Barry Cooper guy. Now he's not quite as intense as Good Luck America. <clears throat> uh, good evening, ye old fart. It. 
I have been getting a second notification of the chat going live a few minutes after the chat ends. Uh, what the hell, YouTube? I'm sure it's just something special for you. It's like the Welper call. Uh, oof. Uh, may I have one of your revolvers? No. Do you think the Federal Reserve should raise or cut interest rates this year? I have no fucking idea. I don't have much of an understanding of that shit. I'd like to see a cut in interest rates myself, but that's just me. I don't plan on financing nothing, so I ain't too worried about it. <coughs> Unless you're planning on buying a house or a car or something like that, I really don't get that much effect on me. I don't got enough money sitting in the bank that, oh, how much interest I'm drawing is making a difference. No, I don't. So it doesn't really matter that much to me. And I'm older, so like I said, I ain't buying nothing. So <clears throat> good evening, Yankee. Uh, Looney Tune. Uh, someone asked me a question, but they didn't use at the Yankee Marshall. Where are they at? A uh, random question, but I'm new to revolvers. Where are the correct points to lubricate a revolver? <coughs> An example. <coughs> An SP-101. Uh, don't worry about correct points to, to lubricate anything. Uh, the way I do it is I just take my can of rim oil and I soak a son of a bitch down, wipe it off, and then, or excuse me, I just soak it down, and then I use my air compressor hose on my little pancake presser and then I just blow everything out of it uh until it's you know almost dry and then I wipe it with a cloth so uh as far as points of if you want to worry about where points where you should oil stuff well anything anytime any place where metal touches metal and moves uh that's where it's very important so uh but here's the thing you don't want to be starting to, to oil the insides of revolvers too much unless you can blow them out because you don't want to build up gunk in there although it really won't cause much of a difference it's just something to be concerned about but not too concerned about because the mechanics inside a revolver are so uh encapsulated there's not a lot of room for movement outside of where they're supposed to move and there is a lot of pressure on every piece in there so you could pretty much slather them down with lard and they would still work just fine. So it's not anything to worry about too much, but <clears throat> I wouldn't, oh, you know, you don't want to over lubricate things. Sweetie says, seen videos of revolvers from Ruger or Smith where it's clearly scratched or not put together right from the factory. How could manufacturer miss that? <coughs> well, I don't know how you couldn't put a, a revolver together right. I don't know how that would work. Uh, if you mean like a canted barrel or something, well, that's because of the way they do the compression fit barrels now. Uh, and I've seen it with Ruger and Smith and Wesson. Uh, it doesn't, it's not as big a problem on the newer guns that have two piece barrels as it is on guns that have one piece barrels. Like it's only a problem on guns that have one piece barrels. Uh, but, uh, uh, that happens and it just gets through quality control because they don't quality control every gun. They grab like every 50th gun or something, you know, and, and check it. You know, as a run goes by, let's say out of every 10 guns that goes by, maybe one will get looked at. That's just how quality control is done. You can't inspect every gun unless you're a small organization and they're not a small organization. So I can see how it slips by. Scratched, well, same thing with that, but often when things are supposedly scratched from the factory, they're not really scratched from the factory. You know, some dealer took it out of the case and played with it before he put it back and, or some distributor or whatever. <coughs> so it's not always from the factory when it's a scratch, uh, but it's, it, it, it can happen because like I said, not every gun is looked at. Uh, <coughs> Uh. <clears throat> Do you think part of the mass immigration stuff is because Americans aren't having enough kids to replace the population? In other words, falling birth rates? Uh, no, I don't think so at all. I think it's got to do with the fact that 
uh, companies are wanting that uh, right now people are not taking shit jobs. These aren't millennials don't take shit jobs, period. Uh, and since there's fewer of them taking less of the jobs, there's a big corporate interest in keeping people coming. So they keep encouraging them to be given jobs and benefits, etc. And the, uh, and their political, uh, pawns that they own do as they're told and things are so shitty in these other countries right now that there's no shortage of people to convince to come so uh it's 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 a combination of the fact that the corporate america needs cheap labor and people are like well, what kind of cheap labor is there do nowadays everything's done by it no it's not when's the last time you saw a machine build a house when's the last time you saw a machine do a yard when was the last time you saw a machine pick apples no machines don't pick apples <laughs> you bring it to you. Some people seem to think this one guy said, well, there's a machine that goes around and just shakes a tree. And they fall in a bin. And, and no, that's, we've got some of the biggest apple orchards in the world here in Washington. And no, that's not how they pick the apples. <coughs> Someone might've invented something like that, but that's not how they pick the apples. And then who processed the apples, who washes the apples, who's, you know, all that stuff. Uh, so, it's a combination of corporate America needing free, needing cheap labor and owning the government, which gives them benefits and everywhere else is so shitty right now, which it has been for a long time. It's not like it's soup just became super shitty, but it's just a perfect storm. Uh, you got something right. You was right on time for a change. LOL. What did I say? Time for a change. Did I even say that? Uh, <coughs> already got that from Looney Tune. Somebody in your comment section said that the numbers that you showed in your revolver semi auto are completely made up. That's what I said in the video. That was to give someone just an example of how that hypothesis can be true. How can it be true that revolvers, when they have a failure, are more likely to have a catastrophic failure but still be more reliable than? semi-autos who if when they have a failure are more likely to have a correctable failure doesn't matter that you're comparing apples to oranges if you don't take everything into account and that showed that and the only people who don't understand that are people that are really bad at math really bad at critical thinking <laughs> those are the people that don't get it uh were you ever into nascar no my, pa my family's in NASCAR. My mom loves NASCAR. She used to live and breathe. Uh, uh, what's his name? Jordan. Or Gordon. Something. Gordon. Jim Gordon. No. Something Gordon. <coughs> and Dale Earnhardt. So. But no, I've never been into it. Mom's got thousands of. Uh. Uh, NASCAR collectibles. <coughs> I wonder if I can hold on. Give me a second. You can hear my hard drive spooling up slowly over here. Glunk, 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 glunk. Uh, that's not the one I was looking for. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to see if I can find a picture of that box I made my mom for her love of. Come on. Boom, 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 boom. Well, I guess I don't have. Well, there's the table I made her, but where's the box? Oh, yeah. Mom wanted a little box. And she's so into Jeff Gordon. That's what it was, Jeff Gordon, when I'm not trying to see here. She loved the Jeff Gordon. So I made her that little box when she wanted a little box. She wanted this little box by the door to put keys and stuff in. So I made her that one. Jeff Gordon. I'm going to close that. There. <coughs> uh, a nominal snowman says, sent pick of Miata. Thinking about changing caliper covers from red to white powder coat. Thoughts? I don't know about white powder coat. 
Although those light yellow ones that I've seen look pretty nice. Those light kind of greenish yellow ones. Is it? Is it? Uh, is it Hyundai Ye that does those? Uh, it'd be unique. Excuse the mud. Thirty-five hundred mile trip. Uh, well, it is a white Miata. I don't know. I mean, the red are are very just generic, but. I think I would get a, I would choose something a little more like, like yellow or something like that would look good. Uh, I think a yellow caliper or an orange, an orange caliper would look good. I think I'd go more that way than white. Because I figure with the white, it's just going to be looked dirty all the time and it's just going to look different. But, <clears throat> oh, I'm not showing the picture. Hold on. I forgot to show the picture. Helps to show the picture. Uh, not on my A game tonight. And my A game ain't that good. Uh, so, but there, yeah. I, th I think I would go with orange or yellow. It is dirty. Wash your, car, wash your damn car. But uh, I think I would go with yellow. Yellow or orange would look really good. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, red is generic. You, you're right on that. Uh, uh, the ones on mine are black. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Uh, Cadence or yellow. Those, well, his car's yellow, so he got yellow match. But his are the caliper covers. Because <clears throat> I didn't feel like buying a set of new brakes for him. Uh, speed 4341 says, haven't been able to make it to the chat in a while. Boy, they did a big uh, uh, chat here. Uh, you and the posse helped with fundraiser donations when my pup Winston had to have a toe amputated last winter. We got a little tax return this year, so I wanted to give back to help other animals in need. Winston is doing well. Thank you again. Well, thank you for the donation. That helps make today a decent day earnings-wise. Uh, we got a $100 donation yesterday and a hundred today. Although I do tell people, when you want to make bigger donations, use PayPal. So YouTube doesn't take a big chunk of it. But sometimes it's nice to have YouTube take a little chunk. That's the only reason I think they don't ban me is they get a little chunk of money every now and then from me from Super Chats. But thank you very much. Yes, I remember Winston. I remember the pictures of him after he had his toe take it fixed. Uh, but that was speed 43, 41. I bet, that didn't seem like that was that long ago that we did that for Winston. When did he say it was? Uh... Last winter. Well, winter's just now over, so it must not have been too long ago. Uh, James Reeves is copying you now. Well, first with the shorty shorts, and now what? Uh, he did a review of the Subaru Sambar van. Oh, so he's doing car stuff, huh? Maybe they're going to switch to a car channel. There's not a lot of money in gun channels now, so. And a lot of the big channels are seeing the uh, writing on the wall that YouTube's eventually just going to say, no more showing guns. We don't want guns. <clears throat> uh, where was I? I lost my place. Do, do, do. Hi, Yankee Marshall. What have you been watching on Netflix? You sound somewhat better. Well, I, I, my voice is a little better. <clears throat> I worst it when I got home. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that looks a little better. Let's present. There's Nominal Snowman's uh, I'm at very least bisexual mobile. <clears throat> Actually, I think he's more asexual. That's perfect for an asexual. But boy, I love the MX-5s. I'm a big Miata fan. I know people like to make fun of them. Here's the thing. When you see someone make fun of a Miata, they either, the person driving it, and they just make fun of them. Or they just don't know anything about cars. Because if you're a car lover, you like cars. Uh, especially if you like true sports cars, true roadsters. <coughs> then you love the MX-5. Because <coughs> it's one of them. One of the few left. And it's even more uh, 
you know, some people say, well, well there's the uh, Z4 and blah, blah, blah. Now, they're not as true as the Miata is. The Miata is more true to the roots of an actual ragtop roadster car. Even though if I got one, I'd get the hardtop. Uh, I like the hardtop myself, the RF. But love them. They're awesome. Well, Speed 4341 paid for everybody tonight. So I think I could just end and go. Couldn't I? Don't know point in trying to make money for uh, pets and vets. <coughs> we'll still try. But although I'm afraid now anybody who was going to do a super chat is going to be like, Speed's going to win. How many would you get for 200? How many did I give last night? I gave 70 for 100. So it had to be 150 for $200. So. <clears throat> do you still have the bread of Pico? Yes, I do. And you're not tricking me into picking it up, but it's right there. Not fooling me. Fool me once. Uh, not not go fool me again. Uh, what have you been? Oh, I also said, what have you been watching on Netflix? Uh, I don't know if it's on Netflix, but I just watched uh, uh, Young Justice, the new, the latest series from them. That thing had like twenty six episodes. It took me forever to get through that. <coughs> Uh, nothing really else on Netflix. We j I just started last night watching uh, Those Who Live, that the Rick and Michonne. Uh, and boy, did I get kind of sick of that one right after the first episode. When he cut his own hand off just to be shocking and be like the comic books. Uh, I'm like, well, that wasn't a way to escape. That was a way to ensure that you just die right then and there. So I wasn't really impressed with it. I watched a couple episodes, but so far, not impressed. And the whole CRM thing, their whole method of operations and their whole, the way they do things, and it just, none of it makes sense. I can't even sit down and I sit down and I try to rationalize a reason for the way they would do things, the way they do it. And it's just like, no. It doesn't make sense from any tactical position or from any logical position. It just doesn't make sense. <coughs> uh, Daily 3D Revolve use, oh, let's see, what did they ask? Uh, what do you think of the Smith & Wesson 44 Mag Mountain Gun? Does it have too much recoil? Well, for a three-year-old, yeah, probably does. Uh, for a full-grown man like myself, probably not. Uh, they aren't like light recoiling guns. I mean, they are going to recoil. They're 44 Magnum. Uh, but a good pair of grips and a good strong arm, and they, they'll be just fine. But uh, uh, if you shoot them a lot, they can be abusive. But 44 Magnum's not meant to be shot a lot. Uh, it's not meant to be going out and play with and shoot 200 rounds through. It's, it's for it's a task specific round. And that is like when you need a heavy hitting caliber for, you know, you're attacked by, I don't know, something big and mean, uh, uh, women from Arkansas. Like if you're attacked from by some, uh, female Arkansans or whatever you call those people, I've used the word people loosely. Uh, that's when you need a 44 Magnum. They're not for playing around with, but they do have some significant recoil, but they're nothing like shooting a 454 Casul or something like that. So, uh, when you reordered my shirt, is it going to send me an email confirmation? Uh, it should have. Let's see if it did it. <coughs> When did I reorder? Let me see if I can find the order. Uh, let's go over here. Uh, that's not one I ordered. Where's the ones? Um, go down to manuals. Okay, here we go. John Healy says it was delivered. Wait, that's the flag. Hold on, I'm trying to find the shirt. Where's the shirt I reordered? 
Get to find where the shirt is. Uh, it was after that that I ordered it, wasn't it? Uh, I think that's too far back. No, that's about the right time, but I think that was not one I entered manually. Where's the one I did manually? Uh, gore. Let's see. Why does it say no orders found when I put your name in? Oh, that's weird. That was that I didn't want to go to the actual that was shit. Dang, you got that two days ago. That was the flag. I'm gonna go over to the other. Um, uh, that's probably it right there. The be kind to animals. It was delivered yesterday. Let's see. Uh, in Struthers, Ohio. I'm assuming that's the right address. <clears throat> Delivered in at mailbox yesterday. Go get your mail. <clears throat> All right, where am I at? Screwed! It says going to be a weekend full of range trips. 10 millimeter this morning. 45 this afternoon. Taking a co-worker and a sister tomorrow. That sounds kinky. Uh, going to bring their sister. Come on, really? I mean, I'm all for three ways, but that's kind of weird. Uh, going to bring my, well, it's not, we, it's not gross when it's somebody else's family. It's weird when you think about it. It's gross when you think about it with your family running your own family. But when you see it like, like twins or something, that's not as gross, you know, because you're not related to them. Uh, but uh, going to bring my P210 carry. Oh, you asshole. I'm almost done talking to him just for that because I don't want a P210 carry. I don't have a P210 carry. I've got a P210, uh, but it's the fucking target one or regular one or whatever you want to call it. Uh, they didn't come out with the carry till later, and I jumped the gun and got that one. Now I want the carry instead, so I need to do a trade somewhere for someone. I don't know. P365 and AR15. <clears throat> Screwed trying to become, become the new whelper. You're trying to piss me off <clears throat> with this P10 carry, P210 carry. You know, you could take more more calibers than one to the range when you go. You don't got to do it by caliber. <coughs> um, <clears throat> uh, my King Cobra trigger feels like it has been underpowered return spring. Thoughts? Is it failing or something? I mean, as long as it goes back in position, I mean, it's not shouldn't like kick your finger forward or nothing. I'd have to feel it to be able to tell what you if you're if it's really underpowered or not. But I mean, if it's functioning properly, I mean, you should be able to keep the trigger all the way back with your finger and keep it from going forward. It shouldn't overpower you or anything. It shouldn't out-wrestle you. Uh, you have so, you said you have done nothing right today. I said you I said you did. You was on time. Oh, I'm on time for change. Okay. I thought you said it was time for a change, not I was on time for a change. I thought you said I said it was time for a change. Like, it's a time for a change. No, you were saying I, I was on time for a change. Maybe I should wake up seven minutes before the chat more often. Uh, Carrie C did a super sticker. Actually, he did two of them. Carrie C did two super stickers. What are they? What are they? What the fuck is that? I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't have my glasses on, but. What the fuck is that? It looks scary, whatever it is. Is that some sort of frog person or something? It says something under it, but I can't read it. <coughs> I don't have my glasses. I don't ever wear my glasses, so. I don't even know where my glasses are. The only times I ever put my glasses on, if we go to a show and I'm going to need to see the stage, uh, then I'll put my glasses on. 
I'm trying to remember to take them. You're usually in my car. So that's probably where they are because I put them in my car for when we go to shows and stuff. I've got my glasses. And that's if, you know, you're seeing someone like, uh, uh, like a performer and you want to actually be able to watch them and see them. And like, if you're going to see Prince or something, which you're not going to be doing these days, but, uh, or you're seeing a Broadway show and you want to be able to see the actors interact and see facial expressions and stuff. But, uh, like when we went and saw uh, Jim Gaffigan, I didn't put my glasses on. I'm like, I don't need to fucking see him. It's okay if he's just a white blurry blob on the stage. I know what he looks like. <coughs> uh. <coughs> Scrooge said, I've taken notes on the stuff I have that you covet. Uh, camp guard. Yes, I really do like the camp guards very much so. Uh, Shadow 2 Compact. Yes, you will forever be on my shit list for that. And the P210 carry. Yes, that puts you on there too. Just thought you should know, I almost bought a 92 GTS launch edition today. Well, it's a good thing it's almost because if you said you did, I might have had to ban, ban you. I would have at least said snarky things about you. I might still do that anyway. I haven't even seen one yet. I was hoping there'd be one at the sporting systems today. I couldn't afford it because I had to buy a key and a laptop today. $1,100 for a laptop. There were all kinds of them there that were 300, 400, 500, but he wanted the airbook uh, with the M3 chip for some reason. It says you are number one. Well, then it's a dirty fucking liar. Why must you turn my chat into a den of lies? Oh, excuse me. Um, I hate how a lot of guns now have those engraved QR code stamp things on the frame. It is odd. I know it's just, you know, inventory control and everything, but I got one here that has that. Does this one have it? I'm really surprised this doesn't. What did I get recently that has it? My Cobra, or not my Cobra, my Python has it on the side. They got them. I think it's on the other side. I think it's on the pythons here. Don't look. Don't look. I'm not holding this. Yeah, it's on the other side. <clears throat> I mean, I guess you can consider them tacky and ugly, but you know, to me, they're no different than the, it's got to have the city and town that it was coming from on it and all that crap. It's all the same things. So if they could do away with all the other stuff, like, you know, like the if, if, if they just went to that little code on Ruger's instead of the warning on it, I would like that a lot better because those are very subtle down in the little corner of the front strap. Uh, if they could do that instead of the other stuff, like from New Hampshire, blah, 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 if they could do just that little code instead, that I would like better. If they could do that instead of a serial number, I'd be fine with that too. If they're going to do it, make it worth it. Make it instead of something else. Like every gun will have a very specific little one of those on it. No serial numbers. The only thing on the gun would be the name of the gun if they want to engrave the name of the gun on it, which I'm sure they will. They want to advertise their gun. So like just be like Colt Python and then no other writing on it anywhere other than that little stamp right there. That was I would think that'd be better myself. Uh, <coughs> uh. Where am I? Hawaii legislators want to limit ammo purchases to people 21 and older criminals under 21 find a way to get ammo. Well, are just are most criminals under 21? I don't know. Uh, gang members. I don't know how big a gang problem do they have in uh, Hawaii. I mean, how could you have a big gang problem there? It's not like they can run off if you, you know, what they do something. They're kind of stuck where they are, so it'd be easy to find them. Not like big roving gangs can hide very many places on the Hawaiian Islands. That's why when I go there, I'm, uh, I feel, I don't like it. I feel claustrophobic. I'm like, if something went down right now, we're fucking stuck here. There's no, we're, nothing we can do. And we're not armed and hardly anybody around here is armed. Although they do got a lot of machetes. Uh, so get yourself a machete if you're in Hawaii. But, uh, all kinds of machetes. I see machetes everywhere when we're in Hawaii, but. You know, cutting coconuts and other stuff, bananas and 
pineapples, all those people. When we went to the pineapple farm, there was uh, the Dole Plantation. There. There's machetes everywhere. You could just pick up machete anytime you wanted. So I guess it'd be good for the zombie apocalypse that there's machetes everywhere. But other than that, <clears throat> did Speed tell us how his dog is doing now? Uh, oh, he did do it. He said, Winston is doing well. Thank you again. Uh, I just thought of that. I was like, I saw his thing come up here again. And I'm like, well, did he tell us how the dog's doing? But that was the very end of it. I got too uh, happy about the money and didn't pay attention to what he said about the dog. You know me, I'm all about the money. Show me the money. Wasn't that a movie? Never saw that movie, but I remember it. It was very ubiquitous in society at the time. So you know it, even though you never saw the movie. And wasn't it Cuba Gooding Jr.? The same guy who was like a sled dog later on. I mean, talk about giving someone an Oscar for, for dubious reasons, because I can't imagine that guy ever did a good enough job to get an Oscar. Because I've seen him in other stuff, and it didn't seem like he's an Oscar-worthy actor. Well, Holly Berry, too. So, got to... That was when they were starting to like, oh, they don't give Oscars to black people. And they're like, oh, my God, quick, someone throw a dartboard at some black actors on a, you know, throw a dart at some black actors on a board and, and give away some Oscars to black people. And I'm not saying that's a racist thing. I'm just saying that that's what was happening because the Academy is very racist. Um... Uh, I don't know what that came from. If I don't do white, it'd be blue. Oh, like a light blue would be nice. A dark blue would look good too, but a, a light blue would be nice. Oh, mate, yeah, yeah. A light blue, that would be pretty. I would, I'll go, I approve of that. Not quite as light as like a sky blue, but just a little deeper. <coughs> Something like that, that would be pretty. We don't want it to be like, well, dark blue would be pretty too, but it would kind of become black, especially if it got a little dirty. I would like light blue, like a light blue. Uh, Sweetie used his member chat of his three month WAP chat to say, I can't decide between an SP 101, uh, double action, single action, 357, three inch, or the GP 100, three inch, 357, six shot. Big difference in. Uh, easeability for carry. Uh, no, there's not much of a difference. Uh, and I would definitely, anyone time, anyone makes that uh, a quandary there, I get to feel like I'm smart because I actually have an answer for that one. And it is by the GP100. Uh, the SP101 is too big and bulky for what it is. Uh, if you want a Ruger that's a five shot, get an LCR X. If you want one six shot, get the, the GP100. So if you're wanting a, a 357 Magnum all steel revolver, get the GP100. Uh, I have a short barrel GP100. Where the fuck is it? <coughs> right there on the end. <coughs> Much better than SP101. Uh, it is a little bigger. It is going to be a little heavier, but it's better for what it is. Uh, I mean, it's a, a, a good size, an acceptable size for what a six shot revolver should be. The SP 101 is not for a five shot revolver. Get the LCRX. If you're going to stay with steel, get the GP 100. I can say that 100% certainty you'll be better off in the end. If I don't, oh, I read that. Portland's outdoor camping ban is being delayed by a court yet again. What a surprise. Yes, yeah, surprise, surprise. <clears throat> Last night, there was a shooting at a bar near me. <clears throat> In my state, it's illegal to carry a firearm into a place that serves booze. Well, then it couldn't have happened then. Someone must have made up that story. If there's logins carrying a gun into a bar, well, then no one can get shot in a bar. Uh, Kyle Rittenhouse's ex spokesperson says he is uneducated, arrogant, and antagonistic. Well, he was a kid, so I'm sure he was all those things. <clears throat> Whether he's those things now or not, I wouldn't be able to say. Uh, hopefully, he's matured. Now, the uneducated part, yeah, I know that. He dropped out of high school. He wasn't. Uh, 
but he didn't even get his GED till after he was already on trial. They did that to kind of up his public image. Uh, and they had to force him to do that. But, uh, yeah, apparently he'd had no aspirations for college or anything like that beforehand. That was all part of the PR, making him more uh, palatable. Doesn't change whether he was right or wrong in what he did. Still, in 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 my opinion, at the beginning, uh, a kid should never been in that situation, and the the adults that were with him, shame on them for allowing him to get in that situation. Uh, people shouldn't have attacked him, and people shouldn't have bitched and moaned when people attacked someone and they shot back defending themselves. Uh, so he can't be guilty of, like I said, murder or nothing or manslaughter or nothing because he defended himself. It was self-defense period. That was the end of story. As far as I was concerned, I didn't have to think he was a saint that was, you know, going to try to change the world and be the next mother Teresa. I didn't need any of that. The facts of his actions were enough to say, okay, well, he's not guilty of murder or manslaughter. Uh, if you want to say, oh, he was do breaking this law or breaking that law, okay, we'll give him a ticket. But uh, and the, what he did in defending himself was just defending himself. I didn't have to think, like I said, he was the next Mother Teresa. Uh, but they felt like they needed to do that. And it also doesn't mean I think he has anything worth saying that I should need to hear. Me as a 56-year-old man, there's nothing he has to say or older than that. 58 year old man that has anything. I have anything that I can hear him say that would be beneficial to me. He's a kid that was in a situation and that's it. That's all. <clears throat> so I don't need any of that either. I don't need to go watch him speak. Uh, it's like these people like and so and and uh, what's the other one? The Jewish guy that I don't like too much. They got Candace Owens fired. Uh, or I can't remember his name right now, but I don't, they, they ain't got nothing to say that I don't already know. And they don't say it very well. And they say it in a very divisive and bullshit way because that's what they're being paid to do. So I don't need to listen to any of them. <clears throat> uh, I haven't kept up, but I did see the thing about Kyle Rittenhouse about how he failed the ASFAB, which how bad did he fail the ASFAB? Because I always consider the Marines the place you go when you do fail the ASVAB. But he failed the ASVAB so bad that the Marines didn't want him. And there's a letter from the Marines, and I did do the research on the letter. Uh, it turns out where it came from is legit. The people mentioned in it are legit. The agents from the FBI, etc. And apparently it was part of a court case. And uh, uh, I saw the reporting on it and how they did the background check on it and stuff. Uh, that they said he had failed the ASVAB. And he is banned from reapplying to the Marines. And that does happen. Sometimes people get banned from reapplying to Marines because they get labeled a, a, a psychiatric risk. And he had sent them a video of him in uh, field stripping quickly and putting back in, uh, together uh, uh, an AR-15, which will very quickly get you banned as a psychiatric risk. Uh, and a lot of people took it to mean, oh, he failed the ASFAB and therefore he is uh, banned from ever that's not what it that that doesn't make sense you don't fail an ASFAB so bad you can't take it again you can take the ASFAB again in fact I'm sure most Marines have taken it more than once uh, so what it was saying is he failed the ASFAB and something else you know and I'm betting he got listed as a psychiatric risk because of that video he sent of him playing soldier in his backyard and that, that's that's a no-no. Don't do that if you're applying to the military. Don't send a, a recruiter a video of you underage playing soldier. It's not going to get you enlisted. My uncle was a recruiter his whole career, and he'll tell you right then there. Send me a v email of you, or send me a video of you being a soldier somewhere. And this really started happening back in the days when VHS cameras became a thing. The loose cannons started sending videos to like recruiters and stuff. And they're like, yeah, let's toss that in a bin and write down that name. Uh, make sure they don't come through here. And people say, well, but it's, we're in a time recruitment problems. Well, you, we aren't so bad that we need to let psychiatric risks in. <clears throat> uh, I don't need a bunch of piles. Uh I haven't kept up with it, but I saw Colorado might be getting an assault weapons ban. Well, they might, and it might. 
might be overturned in court, like the other ones that everybody's waiting on right now that the Supreme Court's dragging their feet on. I keep you Miata pictures to make you buy one. The NC Miata gets shit on a lot, but it outperforms the NA, NB in basically all categories. <coughs> well, I mean, I like Miatas. You don't go sell me on Miata, and I kind of would like to own one before I die. Uh, I just don't know if I'll be able to because I don't know if I'll be able to get in and out of it. I'm having trouble getting in and out of the Camaro. Uh, although, you know, I've seemed to remember last time I got on a Miata, it was easier to get into and out of than my Camaro just because of the way it is. Uh, so we'll see, but I'm getting to where I can't hardly get in now with Camaro. Uh, my plan right now on the Camaro is maybe keep it forever and then just get me a little truck. <laughs> or hell, I might be able to do with the truck I got because it might outlast me. I stopped watching The Walking Dead during season two. Oh, then you missed a lot of good seasons. Uh, I never understood how you guys slogged through that shit, zombie soap opera. Well, that's what it is, that is it, zombie soap opera. But even bad zombie shows are better than no zombie shows. I am not impressed by anyone who chops off their hand. Yeah, it was just a stupid thing. It's like bad writing. It's like that would not. I know how I'm going to get away. Well, first they had him on a leash. And I'm like, okay, he's running into the trees fighting zombies on a leash. How long is it going to be till he's wrapped around a tree? Uh or wrapped up with somebody else. That was the stupidest thing I'd ever seen. Uh, if someone is so bad a chance of running that you can't put, take them out without a leash on them, well, then they ain't going out, period. <clears throat> that was stupid. It was just like, as soon as I saw the leash thing, I was like, what the fuck? These guys who write this shit have got no common sense whatsoever. Oh, we haven't done the drawings yet. and We're almost out of time. I'm just sitting here looking at the clock. I got to... Uh, uh, <clears throat> do the drawings. Hold on. Let me pull up my list. Pull up my list. Pull up my list. Uh, do, 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 uh, first, we'll do uh, the ammo, then we'll do the silver bullet, and then we will uh, do uh, the uh, friend. We'll work our way up. Uh, let's see. Those are from April. I mean, oh, why did I not take those off? Of oh, wait, I did. That's, not, that's the early list. Let me get the next list. There's a B list because I had a couple people that actually snuck through from April. <coughs> uh. Uh, da, da. Okay, the first can of ammo. Let me generate a number. Hold on. The first can of ammo goes to number 12. Um, that would be Richard Gerbach. 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 That's the first can of ammo. Let me write that down so I don't forget. Can I find their name if I click on their uh, Richard Gerbach. Where are they from? They're from Virginia. Hold on, I don't want to write that there. That's my list of uh, Richard Gerbach. Gerbach. Is that it? Gerbach. There's two R's. Uh, C H T. Ammo. All right. Now let's do the second can of. <coughs> excuse me. Let's do the second can of ammo. Generate number uh, four. And let's go back to our list four. Oh, I think this might be a lady. Uh, Sue. How you pronounce that last name? Timon. It's either Timony or Timon. And they are from, hold on, let me click on their name. Oh, they're from Washington. They're from in this state. That should be easy to send them something to. Washington, Virginia. 
Although I'm not doing that on my form over here. I'm going to have to put it on a form eventually anyway. But I like to write things down manually. All right. Now we're going to do the silver bullet. The silver bullet. Uh, I lost my list. Hold on. There we go. Uh, silver bullet. Generate a number. Uh, number seven. Well, this might be another woman. Uh, Tammy Dean. Tammy Dean. You're the silver bullet. Let's see, where are they from? They're from MN. Is that Minnesota? That Minnesota. <clears throat> All right, now let's do the next one. This is for the friend drawing. All right, number 29. All right, and the winner is. J, I don't know if that's Simone's or Simon's. J, and it's like not the letter J, the name J. It's like Simon's, but there's an E on the end of it. There's an E in there. So that's the friend winner. Where are they from? Oh, they're from California. Can we send a silver bullet to California? Is that allowed? I don't know if I've ever had a silver bullet winner in California. Or no, it's not a silver bullet. That's the friend gun. Yeah, we can do friend stuff in California because they can choose whatever local that they want. Because I can just send them a gift certificate. So, you know, I've seen that was a silver bullet. But those are the winners. Richard Gerbrock, Ammo Can. Choose which one you want. Go over to the website, uh, Minuteman Ammo. Sue Tiffany, also Ammo. And they're in from Washington. They might, uh, uh, might just be able to go in and pick it up because they're not from too far up. They're near Longview, it looks like. Uh, Tammy, I wonder if they know Clinton, Seattle. Does she live in Longview now or something in that range? Uh, Tammy Dean is our silver bullet winner. She's in like Minnesota. And Jay Simones or Simons is uh, our friend for the month. <coughs> yeah. And remember, when you're the friend for the month, send me what you, uh, uh, if I give you just a gift certificate, send me a picture of what you end up getting because I like to show people what people got. Uh, but uh, those are the winners. Let me, I got to write them down over here eventually. <clears throat> I wrote them down on paper here, so I got them. I won't forget them They're right there. I'll put them on the actual computer here shortly. Uh, but that's the drawings done. Now we got to do the hat drawing, but I got to read some stuff quickly. Uh, Skidmark said, hello from Scotland. And then he said, here's some funny money. He used his 24-month WAP chat to say, hello from Scotland. And then he said, here's some funny money. What's Scottish money? Is it made out of sheep gut? I'm sure it's made out of sheep stomachs. They love to do stuff with sheep stomachs over there. Everything sheep related. They like sheep a lot. More than I would say is healthy. But uh, that's just the way it goes. That's just the way it is. Uh, but let's do the drawing for... Uh, the hat and stuff. And I mean, count skid mark. Cause I think we can do international shipping on the stuff. So, <clears throat> although what's 10 pounds or whatever that is, 10 sheep gut things or which is that? Well, we'll do like it's $10. Uh, so seven, 14, 17, 20, uh, 27, and then how many we say we're getting for that? So that's 177, 180, 183, 186, 189, 192, uh, 195. So I got to do a number between one and 195. Get back. Oh, I just had the random number generator open. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. It's in a, its own separate little tab. 
195, between one and 195, two. Uh, so the winner's pocket sand. That was easy. That was an easy count. <clears throat> so pocket sand is the winner of the hat and or t-shirt or whatever. Send me an email to shootingleftofcenter at gmail.com. Oh, also, if you're one of the other winners, I'll be sending you an email probably. But go ahead and contact me if you can uh, at shootingleftofcenter at gmail.com. Let me know, hey, I want a can of ammo. Hey, I want a silver bullet. Hey, I'm a friend. Or hey, I'm a hat winner. If you're the hat winner, make sure you put in the subject line hat winner. Uh, so that I can find it. Then in the body, even if you don't choose a hat, let me know what you want in the body and then your mailing address. Uh, but that's it for us today. I do believe we are done. We got everything answered. I do believe we chose all of our winners today. So we're doing good. Uh, we're done for something that started off so shaky because I was just face. This was a bunch of, it was a fucking train wreck, clown car at the beginning. I don't know if it got much better, but at least it started moving towards the end. But thanks, everyone, for coming. I will see you all again tomorrow. Same Yank time, same Yank channel. Well, open to everybody because it is a Sunday. Uh, until then, remember, always carry and stay safe until I see you again. No, yay, Simone. California. Tanner, where is she from this?
episode. Uh, ammo cans. I don't need to write those down. Those are a one time. Oh, shit. 